Thank you for tuning in today to Behind the Scenes with the Hanover Theater. I am completely thrilled to be here today with Andre Lewis. He is the Artistic Director of Canada's Royal Winnipeg Ballet, who is bringing Dracula to our stage on Tuesday, November 15th at 7.30 p.m. Welcome to the program. It's a pleasure being with you. You know, the only thing that I regret about this, what we're doing right now, is that people cannot see the beautiful photos of the costumes and the sets and how dramatic and gorgeous Dracula is going to be on our stage. Can you try and describe that for people so that they can get some idea as they're driving in their cars? Oh, absolutely. (laughs) I mean, first, I just want to give it a sense of framework that uh, the ballet was first created in 1998 by the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. At the time, I was newly a minted artistic director. I had been director for a year, essentially, and I approached Mark Gordon, who had choreographed several works for us, but they were smaller works, usually half-hour works, and he's done extremely well. Mark came from a theater background. He also came from a ballet background, and he also had a good understanding of more contemporary uh, technique. So we were really uh, wanting to do a, a work based on Dracula. We had looked at rentals of different versions of it, but they all left me wanting. Plus, I wanted to create something that we could take on tour, we could have we could control. So I approached Mark, and he decided to go back to the original uh, Bram Stoker uh, uh, story, or book, if you will, Mm -hmm. and started to build something based on that. So it's very period. It's of the period around 1895 when it was uh, created. So it's, it's of that, it's of that era, essentially based on the book. You know, he did not want to, Mark did not want to follow the Hollywood where there's this crazy guy with long teeth that bites women's neck. Uh, <laughs> there is some biting that does happen, but it's done beautifully, artistically, and it's so well put together. Mark also chose uh, Gustav Mahler's music. I believe it's uh, portions of his sym- symphonic works, so Symphony Number no. 1, 2, and 9. And, and put something really incredibly beautiful together that works so well. We just opened it in Winnipeg uh, last night, and it got this standing ovation, packed house. We had just done it in Minneapolis uh, with the same response, with 2,500 people uh, clapping wildly. It's a very well-put-together work, and it certainly uh, has not shown any age it's it's really it's a bit like uh, Dracula never dies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so wonderful talking to you because it's obvious that you're enthusiastic and passionate about this. 